Greetings and praise the Lord. Welcome to our daily devotion. And uh, our day's devotion is on, uh, we continue on the third episode on satisfaction in God. And we're on the third episode, which is on generosity. I'm sure you by now you have realized that uh, uh, Christian contentment comes through the people of God who support each other. You care for me has flourished. And through the power of God that strengthens a person. Now we see that um, uh, that uh, well, the Greek word for contentment is also translated as satisfied. That is why our topic for this week is on satisfaction in God, and uh, that is being content in Christ. Uh, it also means adequate, competent, or sufficient. Um, so we, we see that um, uh, as we continue to see, uh, because today's uh, topic is on generosity, let's have a look at Philippians chapter 4 verses 10 to 13. And before we do that, let's pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, we bow before you to honor you, to exalt you, to magnify your holy and mighty name as uh, we ask you, Lord, to prepare our hearts to receive you and even to have uh, your word received in our hearts to dwell and accomplish the purposes as to which you have sent that word to accomplish. We thank you that each and every person that receives this word, their life will not be the same, but they are going to be turned around so that they can honor you with their lives and even continue to be content in you, Lord. We thank you and we give you honor and praise in Jesus' name. Amen. In Philippians chapter 4, verses uh, 10 to 13, I'm reading from the uh, passion translation my heart overflows with joy when i think of how you demonstrated love to me by your financial support of uh, my ministry for even though you have so little you still continue to help me at every opportunity i am not telling you this because i am in need for i have learned to be satisfied in any circumstance I know what it means to lack, and I know what it means to experience overwhelming abundance. For I am trained in the secret of our over, in the secret of overcoming all things, whether in fullness or in hunger. And I find that the strength of Christ's explosion, our explosive power, infuses me to conquer every difficulty that is what it means to be satisfied in christ the satisfaction in god helps us actually to be generous these people were not giving because they were rich but they were giving because they had a generous heart and you see when they give they are giving because they are satisfied in the lord they know that what they are giving is not that they are losing but they are giving because they know that the lord god almighty that you give he does not owe you anything because he is not a debtor of any man we we are told that uh, um paul paul knows how to be in need he knows when to be hungry he knows when he has an abundance he knows ex even especially when 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 he has extreme overwhelm uh, uh, that is uh, he has experienced overwhelming abundance but he has also been trained to overcome all things overcoming everything that comes your way it doesn't matter whether it is good or bad it doesn't matter whether it is in lack or in abundance because sometimes the abundance can also be a hindrance to some people the some of them it hinders them in growth spiritually when they have abundance especially when we talk about material abundance but here i'm telling you that it doesn't matter whether you have little or you have a lot it all what it means is your content whether you have it or you don't have it you know that you are satisfied in the lord in second corinthians chapter 9 verses uh, uh, 7 to 8 the bible says uh, um, let giving flow from your heart not from a sense of religious duty let it spring up freely from the joy of giving all because god loves hilarious generosity yes 
God is more than ready to overwhelm you with every form of grace so that you will have more than enough of everything, every moment and in every way. He will make you overflow with abundance in every good thing you do. Well, what a blessing. The greatest motivation to give is the desire to be involved in what God is doing. So you have to be motivated to give because one, you are satisfied in the Lord, so you are, sat, you are motivated to give. Huh? The, uh, you are involved because you, are in, you want to be involved in what God is doing. In giving, Christians experience joy as they participate in the lofty and profound work of ministry and abundant good works of God. So let's desire to be involved in God's work. Let's be desire to be involved in the, in the abundance that God has for us. Because you know, God who supplies is also the one who multiplies. This is, this is the cycle of grace. He gives seed to the sower, and as they sow, as um, as they give to provide for the needs of the saints, he enriches both the sowers and the recipients beyond what was sown. In the kingdom of God, grace given is grace multiplied. You see that? You have to remember that. Um, that let, let's have a look at Proverbs chapter eleven, verses twenty-four to twenty-five. The Bible says generosity brings prosperity, but withholding from charity brings poverty. Those who live to bless others who have blessings heaped upon them and the one who pours out his life to pour out blessings will be saturated with the favor. So you see generosity will bring prosperity. That is why we are content. We are satisfied in the Lord. We are we, we feel good when we are in the presence of God. We we feel good when we know that the King of Kings is the one that uh, we are not giving as we are giving to others as we are providing for others in the ministry. It is not them that we are giving. We are actually giving to the Lord. Then then you know what when you when you give there is that satisfaction. When you're satisfied in the Lord, you can give anything and you can give at any moment because you know what? You know that what you have, that as you share it, there is going to be a multiplication just as we said earlier on. That, um, we, we, we already saw that, uh, that, that, um, where, where as, uh, as you, as that, that grace given is grace multiplied. So remember, remembering God's uh, um, perfect way, uh, uh, remembering God's perfect and total provision is one way to display the fear that often prevents giving. The word translated sufficiency means all that is needed. Christians can rest in the grace that multiplies resources and opportunities so that in all things they have all they need well what a blessing to know that as we continue to give there is going to be an abundance and there is going to be sufficiency let me tell you we'll be half sufficient in everything that we do what a blessing and that not only that that you know we are told that you know when we hold from charity you can end up into poverty. So don't withhold. Be a giver. Release and see what God is going to do. So those who live to bless others will have blessings heaped upon them. And the one who pours out his life to pour out blessings will be saturated with the favor. You pour out blessings. You continue enjoying favor. Saturated favor becomes your portion and in ephesians chapter 3 verses 20 to 21 never doubt god's mighty power to work in you and accomplish all this he will achieve infinitely more than your greatest request your most unbelievable dream and exceed your wildest imagination he will outdo them all for his miraculous power constantly energizes you now we offer up to you uh, uh, up to okay now we offer up to god all the glorious praise that raises from every church in every generation through jesus christ 
and all that will yet be manifest through time and eternity. Amen. Wow, what a blessing to know that as we are continue being generous in God's kingdom, as you continue being satisfied in the Lord, we are going to experience experience what is gr the greatest and unbelievable dream the most unbelievable dream you're achieving it accomplishing and achieving and also and exceed your wildest imagination can you see what god is ready to give unto us as we continue allowing him to 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 be you to 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 be the one that we are giving as we are giving to the needs of others that great things are taking place you see the fulfillment and accomplishment of some of these wildest imaginations exceeding your wildest imagination that is an unbelievable dream most unbelievable dream you see the achievement and accomplishment psalms 107 8 to 9 so lift your hands and thank god for his marvelous kindness and for all the miraculous Oh, sorry, uh, and uh, for all his miracles of mercy for those he loves, how he satisfies the souls of thirst, the souls of thirsty ones, and fills the hungry with goodness. You are hungry for him, not just hungry for 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 things, but hungry for him. He will satisfy you, and uh, as you continue being satisfied in him the lord will continue using you powerfully for his glory may the lord bless you for now as you purpose to walk in his ways and you, as you choose to serve him and uh, be satisfied in him and one of the ways we've seen the best way to be satisfied in him it is to be generous because when you're satisfied in the lord you've got no doubt you don't walk in any doubt that that you're gonna that your needs are not gonna be met but your needs are all going to be met because you've given your life to the Lord and you have allowed him to, to be, you have, you, he's using you for his goodness, for his power, for his greatness. May the Lord bless you as you continue to walk in his ways, as you continue to love him and even to serve him for he is God Almighty that you have given your life unto, to walk in his ways, to serve him all the days of your life. Be blessed for now. This is Bishop Dr. Grace Karuki of Amazing Grace International Ministries and Abundant Glory International Ministries. Please log in to our website at www.agracem.org and uh, please partner with us and uh, at the same time become a supporter of this work as we continue to minister to the needs of many, many that are waiting for support that are waiting for us to stretch forth as we continue to stretch forth at the love of God unto them. May the Lord bless you as you also purpose to log in, to, uh, choose to like, subscribe, and even comment on our web, YouTube and Facebook. That is at Bishop Dr. Grace Karaoke or Karaoke Bishop Dr. Grace. You can also find us on Instagram. God bless you. And I look forward to be with you again as you continue with this wonderful topic on satisfaction in God. Be blessed for now. Shalom. Shalom.